Well, a disturbing development on the border crisis. Wait until you hear this. The director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirms that more than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been caught at the border and then released into the United States. The letter here tells the tale. Hello, I'm John Roberts in Washington. You believe this, Sandra? Which means they are here. This is just an unbelievable development. We just got these numbers moments ago, but uh, it's a jaw dropper to say the least. So according to this brand new data, never seen before, over 13,099 convicted murderers have crossed the border and are free to roam and kill in our country. These are convicted murderers. These are people that were in jail. Now, I've been talking about this for three years when I heard they were opening up the border. Three and a half years. I said, if they open the border, because I know the people on the other side, and they're smart, savvy people, you know, they're at the top of their game. Our leaders are not at the top of their game at all. They never were, actually. But uh, our leaders are not. These are smart people. And these are countries from all over the world, 13,000, more than 13,000. Convicted murderers have been let out of jail and they're roaming our streets, their country all over. Every state is a border state. You know what that means, right? Every state, because they fly them in. Can you imagine? They fly them in. Actually, I'm starting to think they're stupid. They're just stupid. Over 13,000 convicted murderers from jails in jail. And I told you, they're releasing them from jails and these fake people, these, these stupid people, who say they don't release them from jail. They do, Mike. They do. You know that. You better elect him your senator, I'll tell you. And these are specific numbers. That's why when they rounded them out, I said, I don't want them rounded out. I want the exact number as well as 25,272 illegals convicted because they don't want them in jail. They're too expensive and they don't want them in their countries. They're smarter than us. They give them to us. We're like a dumping ground. In total, 425,431 non-detained, meaning they're no longer in detention, meaning prison, non-citizens, convicted criminals from all over the world are right now at large in the United States of America with another 222,141 illegals with pending criminal charges. And these are serious criminal charges for murder. That's over 647,572 migrant criminals are in our country. It's a killing machine. It's a killing machine, and they're killing people all over our country. And Kamala said, remember, she said, oh, well, those people really don't kill like our criminals. No, no. These people make our criminals look like nice people. And I've been saying this from the beginning of the Harris-Biden disaster. It's no longer an administration. Because what they've done to our country with this is inexcusable. I guess some egghead maybe said, oh, it's wonderful to release people. And it sounds so nice. We're releasing migrants into our country. But these are killers. These are people at the highest level of killing that cut your throat and they won't even think about it the next morning. They won't even think about it. And these people are all over the place and they're killing people. I could go through the stories and I won't. But all over, sometimes I do. Nobody who's allowed to do this And nobody who's allowed this to happen to our country is fit to be the president of the United States. I mean that, too. I mean it.